The government has conceded a mistake allowed a member of Islamic State to walk free in Sydney after being granted a visa. It comes during an escalating diplomatic standoff between Fiji and Australia over the fate of terrorist Neil Prakash and just which country is obligated to take him. Once Australia's most wanted, now unwanted by all. We will do everything we can to protect Australian citizens. Islamic State poster boy Neil Prakash has been officially rejected by Fiji. The country's Prime Minister telling local media he cannot come here, he does not qualify. It all looks like another Peter Dutton stuff up. No! Peter Dutton, enjoying the cricket in Sydney with former Prime Minister John Howard, maintains Prakash is a Fijian citizen. The advice to the government was very clear in relation to Mr Prakash, his citizenship. He's rotting in a jail cell in Turkey. He's not coming back to our country, and I've been very clear about that. But he also says other countries may want him once he's released. Including the United States and the United Kingdom, who have an interest in him as well, given the fact that he is a terrorist. Meanwhile, Peter Dutton admits that ASIO made a mistake after a serious administrative bungle saw an Islamic State member who posed as an Iraqi refugee on Christmas Island granted a visa and allowed to roam free in Sydney and Melbourne. According to News Corp, he escaped capture by changing two letters in his last name. It took one whole year for ASIO to link him to terrorism activity. Peter Dutton says the agency was overwhelmed by the volume of migrants accepted into the country by Labor. It shouldn't come as any surprise to anyone that mistakes are made when agencies are under such pressure and 50,000 people came on 800 boats, you are going to get mistakes. That mistake is now playing out in the courts as the man fights the charges on the taxpayer's dollar. Jennifer Beshwati, 7 News.